Hello everyone. Today we have an exciting topic to dive into. How to seamlessly migrate from Postman to API Doc. If you have been a Postman user and curious about what this API Doc has to offer, stick around because we are going to break it down in a very simple, easy to understand way. So before we jump into the migration process, let's just explore why API Doc is worth considering. API Doc has three major advantages. First, it's incredibly user friendly. No need to write scripts, no need to learn syntax. You can do automated testing without any hassle and create API documentation very easily. Second, zero migration hassle. API Docs supports all the Postman functions, so scripts written in Postman can be directly imported to API Doc. Finally, limitless users. API Doc basic plan provides you with the limitless users, unlike Postman professional plan, which restricts you to 250 collection run per month. So now let's just talk about how to migrate from Postman to API Doc. It's just a two-step process. Step one, data import. First, in Postman collection, click these three dots, select export, and export as collection version 2.1. Save. All right. Then open API doc, go to your project setting option, select import, then select Postman, and just import the file you just exported from Postman. Confirm. And your first step is done. But wait, there's one more step. Step two, environment import. The collection we imported from Postman doesn't include the environment data. So we need to import the Postman environment separately. Go to Postman environment, click edit. Then select these three dots. From there, select export and save the JSON file. After that, in API doc, go to environment, select these three dot, then import Postman environments Select the file we just exported, click open and save. Okay, congratulations. This way we have completed the entire migration. After the migration, you will face there are some differences using API doc compared to Postman. You need to understand the differences to use API doc smoothly and in a user friendly way. So here's what you need to do. First, request versus API. In Postman, you can send a series of requests, then group this request in a collection. But when you import this collection into API doc, you will find that each request become a success API case. In API doc, each API can have many sets of different parameters. You can save them as multiple API case under this API. This actually makes it more convenient for the development and testing, unlike Postman, where different requests for an API might be scattered across different collections, and which can be very difficult to maintain. In API doc, if you want to run a batch of API case together, you can go to the testing module and create a test scenario. In this scenario, you can import API cases together and you can run them together. This makes the maintenance much more convenient. Let's discuss why it's designed like this. Because our API may change. If an API changes, you can sync the changes to the test scenario with a single click without having to modify each script one by one. Second, environment variable versus services. In Postman, there is a habit of putting a base URL at the beginning of the API URL to control which environment the request is sent to. But actually, this is not a very good practice. Firstly, this makes the request URL different from the URL defined in the API documentation. And this variable will mix with other variable which makes the maintenance very difficult. But in API doc, the solution is elegant. Firstly, each API URL is just like an API documentation, starting with a slash. And I can manage the base URL in the environment. In the environment, we have services. This is our base URL. And if you're using a microservices architecture, for example, maybe the order service and the user service are on different servers, then you can set up different services in the environment. After setting up, each environment will have a corresponding server. This way, after I set it up, I can go to this info tab and I can select which services and API use. If I switch the environment, all requests will be sent directly to the corresponding service, which is very convenient. Lastly, scripting versus pre and post processors operation. In Postman, both pre request scripts and test must be implemented by writing scripts, which can be a bit challenging for many API testers. However, in API doc, all pre and post processors operation can be easily set up visually. Firstly, API doc supports directly using Postman scripts. After you import the pre and post processors that you have written in Postman, you will see them in the test case here, and you can directly run them in API doc. You don't need to write scripts. You can add assertion or visually extract variables and use them in later steps. 
And the most powerful thing is you can also add a database operation, directly query a database. From here, you can select MySQL, SQL Server, Oracle, etc. Then use this result as a request parameter. After you make the request, you can query the database to see if the data is written correctly and then do an assertion. These are some features that Postman doesn't support. Okay, so that's how you migrate from Postman to API Doc. We hope you have a great time using API Doc.